what is going on everybody it is the video game architect aka vga aka double tap for the ogs and i am back with a new game as promised from last video i'm bringing you guys today farthest frontier and this game automatically has a place in my heart because as you guys know this entire channel was started with the game banished and this game is clearly inspired by banished in more ways than one so i am genuinely excited to have this game to kick off and uh, i really hope you guys enjoy this because i would love to bring more tutorials your way of this game that is without a doubt so without any further ado let's get into part one of farthest frontiers tutorials so let's get it guys all right so first things first this is not an underwater game so we are not going to set our main base underwater that's uh that's first thing but what we are going to do is go ahead and scan our surrounding area we want to make sure that we select the smartest area to set our starting base around so what i'm looking for here is where are our major lakes in this map where are our resources where are the most trees concentration where are our berries where are our bushes and what i decide here is that it would be smart to set our base in between these two main lakes here because then we have access to water from two separate spots right away and that's very very nice for many reasons as you guys will see here early on so what we're going to do is go ahead and harvest a couple resources here at least as an example we're going to do trees and stones now what i'm going to show you guys here is depending what you have selected if you hold shift it will actually cancel the selection so here i show you with trees if i hold shift and drag over the trees it will cancel it now if i select it regularly without holding shift it will reselect the trees and now we're going to go ahead and do that same thing with the stones because i actually don't want them to gather stones right away so this is just a quick example to show you guys how to select and deselect resources within the world but we are going to focus on trees immediately that's the most important thing because these main buildings right off the jump of the game will require wood so we're just going to have them focus on chopping down wood for these immediate things first things we're going to set down is one of our basic resources which is water we're going to need water food and shelter so we're going to set down our wells naturally next to the lakes because that's where you get the most natural water naturally speaking the groundwater is going to be better next to a lake so always 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 set your basic wells next to lakes if it's an option that's where you will get the most groundwater next we're going to set the firewood splitter right next to our main base and the firewood splitter is extremely important because he chops the logs into firewood so that we don't freeze to death in the impending winter because winter is always coming just like game of thrones so next we're gonna lay down some fishing shacks because we have these natural resources right next to us of these two major lakes we're gonna take advantage of those right away so we're gonna have our wells and our fishing shack set right next to the lakes and we're gonna get using those lakes right away next another major food a major food source for us is going to be our crop field this is where we can grow different crops as you can see the fertility of the land is better when it's green so right below our main base we actually have a very fertile land so i'm going to go ahead and select our crop field right there it's not large in the beginning you don't want to go too large because then it will be too difficult to maintain just select a nice medium sized one like i did there and it will be a lot easier for them to maintain in the beginning game so we have our water situated we have our food situated our main base is built the next thing to worry about here is shelter naturally speaking so what i'm going to do is put our homes kind of close to our main base as well where everybody's workstations are and i'm just going to set a nice little spacing one space in between these homes so that we could set some roads after to make it look kind of neat So right now it's kind of hard to tell where everything is but it will become more and more clear as we go so if you guys select n on the keyboard it's a quick key for roads it will automatically select roads for you so you are going to be laying a lot of roads in this game so that's a nice handy tool so here you'll see i'm just kind of wrapping everything around so that it will just speed the proficiency of these guys walking a little bit so there we go plus it just looks good gonna go ahead and try to square things off here perfect 
This is our first little community. We will grow up past this, but it's nice to see. Things are already coming along quite nicely. As you can see, we still have some food production happening right off the hop because of the fishing, so that is nice. I did forget to set the area of effect for the fishing here, but we will fix that here in just a minute, guys. Do not worry, but things are going good so far. Everybody's working. As you guys can see, is it's super important to select just wood for resources in the beginning because the demand is so high for building that if you set them to go collect other things like berries and stones like that, you will actually struggle to get the resources up fast enough for them to build before winter starts. If you guys look at the very top of the screen, you can see kind of our months. In this game, the seasons progress quite quickly. You'll see it go from spring to summer to fall into winter quite quickly. So do keep that in mind that you want to get homes built up and you want to get firewood situated immediately so that when winter does inevitably hit, you guys are prepared and you won't just freeze to death immediately. So for now, year one, we're just focusing on getting all our major necessities up, food, water, and shelter. So far, so good. We're taking care of business. So here you guys will see that I'm going and selecting the shelters that are being built and I'm clicking prioritize. So that's the priority system in this game. It's quite simple. You just click it and tell it to be prioritized and all your workers will know that you want them built next. So it is very important because like I said, we are kind of on a time crunch here. We want to make sure that we have the shelter built because right now our water source and our food is situated shelters next in line. And these workers are working hard to do it. As you guys can see, I basically left it on three times speed for the majority of this tutorial. Honestly, it's a comfortable speed to play at, at least for me. But by all means, if you guys want to slow down the game a little bit and smell the roses a little bit more than me, by all means, slow it down to either two times or even one times, whatever you fancy. But um, we're going to get as much information in on these tutorials as we possibly can. So as you can see, there's still all those trees behind us that are highlighted for them to continue harvesting. They will do that. And now our housing problem is already solved. I believe you only need three homes immediately, but we are gonna go ahead and start setting other homes because as you guys can see here, more people are waiting to join our settlement and we wanna make sure that the homes are built for them. So when they do join our settlement, they automatically have somewhere warm to go. It is very, very important. And not only that, this game does have the same system as Banished, whereas if you have a female and a male above a certain age limit living within the same home, they will have babies. So eventually those babies will grow up and they'll need a place to stay. So you always want to basically build for the future in this game. Make sure you always have more homes than necessary. And you could tell that by when you build a new home, if you click on it and it's automatically filled with residents then you know you are behind and they've needed homes if you click the home after it's been built and you see that it's empty you know that you're a little bit ahead of the curve so you always want like three extra homes is what i would aim for so that your society always has room to build and now speaking of building our first little crop field is almost complete and we'll be able to set the farmers to work and we'll be able to have a new resource coming in which is very very important But so far, so good. As you guys can see, the snow has started, so it's already warning us that it's on its way. Things are about to get hectic, but fear not. We have plenty of firewood, and we all have homes to go run into when things get crazy. So it's very, very good. Everything's ready. We do not need to worry about this winter because we are prepared. And I'm gonna go ahead and just continue my road situation back here. Make sure that uh, everything is built and laid out as efficiently as possible. Now you'll see at the top left that Predator has been sighted and now two villagers have been attacked. 
Now, the good news is here is that if a predator starts attacking, the people will typically run back to the main town wherever the most people are and hopefully get everybody to attack the predator to the point of where they won't get killed. This, the way this game is built is that if they get away from the predator, they will slowly start to heal over time, regardless of whether you have a medical center set up or not. So it can really be difficult um, having your people murdered off early game before having any defensive towers set up or anything like that. But it's definitely doable, as you guys will see here. We still have our 12 original people. Even though there's been an attacking, they're still all alive and everything's been okay. So... As much as it could be a pain in the ass in this uh, early game dealing with predators, it's definitely doable and you can get past it without getting murdered off. Alright guys, we have almost made it one year officially. And that is actually where I am going to cap this video. Um, because here we go, we have six new people arriving to our village. Uh, we're about to hit year two, spring's about to begin, our crop field's just about complete too, so as soon as spring begins we'll be able to get to growing immediately. Uh, now they're asking us to build a market, we're getting to that next stage in the game already, so this is the absolute perfect spot to cut the very first tutorial here guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, I tried to keep it short and sweet so it's a little bit more digestible, um, but there will be part two, part three, part four of this coming if you guys do like this content. So do not forget to hit that like button please do hit that subscribe uh, letting me see those positive feedback lets me know that you guys do want more of this and that's the goal here for this channel so without any further ado guys i really appreciate you guys and it's the video game architect i am out until the next one you guys take it easy